Now, Fez, we were uh, talking about Jessica Simpson. This is uh, up right now. Jessica, remember how not only did they get married and they were newlyweds and their wedding was on TV and then their honeymoon was on TV, but and they wrote books. They wanted to teach us how to get married. So she made a big deal. There will be no prenup. We're Christians. My dad's a preacher, uncomfortable preacher, but a sure. preacher nonetheless. So this marriage will be around forever. Now that the fact that she has no prenup, this is going to cost her apparently millions and millions of dollars because Nick gets half. Yeah, she's the breadwinner in the family. Does, is that fair to you, Fez, as a man? And let's face it, Fez Watley, man's man. Sure. Uh, is that something that you feel comfortable with, Nick, asking for half of her money? Uh, I got no problem with it. Yeah. You know, it, it's been Nick and Jessica. He did the specials. He traveled to Iraq with her. Nope. She's the draw, yes. Yeah. But she used him as a gimmick to promote herself. I say, yeah, give him half, Jessica. You know, uh, my problem is this. You know Nick can't make any money on, on his own. So this is it, lifetime for Nick. Whatever he hits here, he's got to stretch out the rest of his life. Whether it's $100 million or $10,000, whatever it is, that's all he's going to get. He needs to be put on some sort of allowance that Mr. Mooney, his banker, actually lets him spend each and every month. Or else it'll be gone. It'll yeah. be gone in Vegas the first month after the final settlement. Now, um, so it's over between the two of them. Jessica is uh, back with her uncomfortable dad. He'll be, like he said... She still has a man in her life. Don't worry about it. You're always going to be my little girl, Jessica. Come here. He's so happy. He's finally gotten rid of what he calls the other guy. Why don't you get up here on Daddy's lap and tell me what happened, honey? What happened? Go ahead. Let those tears flow. He's so uncomfortable. He's an uncomfortable man. A any interview he does about his daughter, he talks about her double Ds. Yeah, he loves the big titties. He loves his daughter's titties. Here's a shot online that E-Rock got for us. Yeah. It's Joe Simpson, the dad, just checking out Ashley's cleavage yeah. in a low-cut blouse. He calls her the ugly one or any port in the storm is what he calls Ashley. Yeah, all he has to do is bag the face. Well, he doesn't even put a bag. He puts a Jessica poster over <laughs> her face, and off they go. You remind me a lot of your sister. Daddy shouted out Jessica's name last night. <laughs> It's an uncomfortable family. Yeah, and he's got no problem. This preacher yeah. has no problem talking about his daughter's sexuality. Right. Well, remember, uh, did you see the um, the video that she did for these boots are made for walking? And she was like, basically, it was like going to see a peeler. Well, the, uh, the weird thing is they did the uh, making of on TV, and they showed that he was just sitting behind the camera. Being like this, go ahead, baby, shake it. Shake it for daddy. He's so sick. He's just gross. And you know he's behind the scenes saying, can't we get her in something more low cut? Yeah. How about we hit that top with a squirt <laughs> bottle? We wet that baby down a little bit. Let me grab the holes, hose it down, and I'll send it back out there to you. I'm still not seeing enough nipple. <laughs> Joe Simpson wants nipple. Maybe what we need is a quick asshole shot. What do you think, honey? <laughs> For daddy. That's the thing. He can talk her into anything as well. For daddy. Yeah, sure. Hey, it's time for your sleeping pill. Then I'll get you into the bath and off the bed. How long after they announced the separation before he tried to tap that? Oh. Her own father. You know what? Uh, I bet Nick writes a book called That's One Sick Fucking Family. That'll be the name of the book. That was One Sick Family. He went to Victoria's Secret and got her a feel better negligee, some, you know, crotchless panties. Oh, jeez. That's just awful. That's just uh, awful. Just disgusting. Hey, uh, Jay, Jay, you're on the uh, Ron and Fez show, buddy. Do me a favor, say hi to Fez. Could you do that for me, Jay? Ah, uh, sure. Hey, Jessica's, 
sense of that? Is he a Catholic priest venturing over into the uh, female side? Well, here's the thing. He's a minister, but this annoys me. He never had a church. I think if you're a minister, you should have a church. That's like saying, I'm a football coach. Yeah, what team? No team. I just go around coaching wherever I f see fit. That doesn't make you a coach. That's like any of these commencement speakers that get to be honorary doctors. Right. And it's like, well, all right, where's your real diploma? Where's your uh, classroom? That you're teaching in, Doctor, Doctor Cosby. Here's uh, Charles. Charles in charge. You're on the run of Fez show. How you doing, buddy? Good. How you doing? What can we do for you, Charles? Oh, I just want to say, uh, all those girls like Jessica Simpson, they're they're just Barbie dolls. You know, they dress them up and uh, they don't like that. They take it off. It's like a Barbie doll. Well, now she's separated from Ken. Yeah, he's done, huh? That's they're not even gonna try. It's not even a separation. It's the it's the big D, huh? Right. Yeah. This is just until they can get the paperwork finalized. Until he can get a uh, rider truck and load up all the cash that she's made over the last few years. He's moving in with Matt Leinart right now. I think. Well, he actually was living there. Really? Yeah. That's the th <laughs> whether you know. I I I. They said he's been sleeping on uh, Matt's uh, couch for like the last four months. Oh, that's all you need when you're trying to get ready for UCLA. And you got Nick Lachey crying on your couch? What a yeah, mess. Yeah, but here's the thing. It's not like Matt has any classes or anything. They're just up all hours of the night. I believe Liner graduated three years ago. Yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> he basically did. He had enough uh, credits. He just won't leave the school. He loves it too much. The money's too good, he says. Oh, yeah. In Southern California. So I guess we won't get the Nick and Jessica... Christmas special. Oh, we had that one last year. That was a great one. I loved it. That was the big one. They were singing all their Christmas carols together. Joe Simpson ready to step in immediately, though. That would be nice, Fuzzy. Yeah, they'll be all over each other. Claus is coming to town to fill up Jessica. Oh, jeez. That's no good. It's Run, Rudolph, Run. Ashley's waking up. Run, Rudolph. Ah, oh, the six Simpson family. This is this will be their incestuous Christmas album. Yeah. This is exactly what they'll be doing. Just ridiculous. Santa Claus saw Daddy kissing me. Ah, that's bad. By Joe and Jessica Simpson. That's no good, Earl. That's not a that's not a real Christmas special. Soon to be a holiday classic. Eight six six Ron Zero Fez. Eight six six Ron Zero Fez. They're doing rocking behind the Christmas tree. <laughs> Joe Simpson's got her bent over the manger scene. It's just a oh. horrible, horrible scene. Oh, that's and too much. It's wrong what they're doing at that Simpson house that's, at the holidays. That's way too much. That's way too much. I know. He disgusts me, too. Yeah. I don't like that, Fez. That's not right. They're all together singing Feliz Naughty Dad. <laughs> Feliz Naughty Feliz Dad. Feliz Naughty Dad. Feliz Naughty Dad. Ah, oh, the Simpsons. Actually, I think O.J. Simpson had a better family. He definitely had a better marriage than Jessica had. Is that Joe's side of the family? There was at least passion in his marriage. <laughs> this guy's just so glad to finally have the husband out of the way. I'm sure that husband feels like it's the first time he can breathe in years. He rolls over in bed and there's Joe. Daddy Joe sitting right next to him. Well, she's singing, I'll be groped for Christmas. Ah, jeez. She knows it's coming. That's why she doesn't sleep on Christmas Eve. It's not because she's excited about presents. She's worried about Dad coming in her room. Hey, you're on the Ron and Fez show. How you doing? Uh, pretty good. How are you? Good. Jessica blowing her dad in the little Hummer boy. In the little Hummer boy, Fez. <laughs> <laughs> All part of the new incestual <laughs> Simpsons Christmas album. He made me suck for him. Ba -rum -ba -bum -bum. Ba -rum -ba -bum -bum. <laughs> he spanked my bum 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 bum. Hey, uh, Brian. Brian, you're on a Fez. Hey, hey Brian. Uh, hey, what's up, guys? Uh, Joe Simpson's new song. I'm dreaming of a, of a tight Christmas. I'm dreaming of a tight Christmas. Uh-oh, Fez, is it happening? Oh, could it be? Are could we it... building anything? I had a Christmas wish, Ronnie. I had a Christmas wish. Could it possibly be coming true? Dare I say? Hey, uh, Jack. Jack, you're on the Ron and Fez show. How you doing, buddy? Hey, Jack. Hey, how about uh, Jessica saying I'll get bone for Christmas? Oh, no. Is it happening, <laughs> Earl? 
Is there a pyramid being I, built? I, 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 could, I could see the work in the building. I don't think so. Do you feel I it? I don't feel like they're ready. I'm seeing, like, construction helmets. 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. Is it December 1st, Fezzy? It is December 1st. Is it a, an early Christmas present? Is it a brand new comedy pyramid coming back? I hope so. Hey, uh, Randy, Randy, you're on running, Fez. Yeah, I heard the classic jingle bulls on Jessica's <laughs> face when she's sleeping. <laughs> jingle bulls, jingle bulls. <laughs> hey, uh, Jeremy, Jeremy, you're on the Ronnie Fez show. What's up, buddy? Hey, buddy. Uh, we got uh, jingle balls, jingle balls, jingle balls, cock. Oh, not so good. All right, the pyramid's there, but it seems like it's stalled out a little bit, Earl. Yeah, I wouldn't walk inside. The foundation seems a little shaky. It's a Joe and Jessica family Christmas this year, and uh, it seems like it's going to be just as good, Fezzi. All the songs are going to be there. It'll be a lot of fun. Yeah, they'll be doing the classics, like Go Spill It on Her Mountains. Oh, jeez. Go spill it on her mouth. I'd actually watch this Christmas special. Hey, uh, Barney, you're on Ron and Fez. Buddy. Hey, buddy. Uh, it's going to be, oh, come on, Jessica's chin. Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> I don't know if the pyramid's building. I don't know. 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. Jessica Simpson. I don't know how glad she's going to be uh, to be home for the holidays. Should be with her incestuous dad, Joe Simpson. Yeah, it's going to be odd for her. Uh, Rob, Rob, you're on Running Fest. Hey, don't, buddy. Hey, buddy. What's yeah. going on? You think Joe kicks back and Jessica takes care of the Yule hog? Oh, jeez. It's Yule, by the way, <laughs> not Yule. But either way, thank you very much. Uh, I don't know, Fez. Uh, Greg, Greg, you're on Running Fest. Hey, don't, buddy. What's up, buddy? Hey. Hey, how about Silent Night? Don't tell your mom. <laughs> <laughs> You're not even trying. You're absolutely not. I feel the pyramid coming down. It was an attempt. It seemed like we were going to do a, a pyramid of jokes, Earl. Like it was just going to build right up to the sky. I don't know whether it will or not. Yeah. It's almost turning into an upside-down pyramid. Here's uh, Matt. Matt, you're on Ron and Fez. Buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, Fez. Welcome, welcome back, buddy. Thank yeah. you, Matt. Hey, the uh, Simpson girls have a brand-new song. Here comes Santa Claus, Cross My If My Face. All right, there it's coming back down slowly but surely. It seemed like it was building, Fez. I felt like it was going to build this time. I thought it was going to happen. We had all the supplies. Yeah. Uh, Dan, Dan, you're on Ron and Fez. Bodies. Hey, buddy. Uh, I'll bring it back up. Yeah. Uh, I'll be blown for Christmas. I'll be blown for yeah. Christmas. Joe Simpson. Singing to all the perverted dads out there. Joe Simpson singing that. Then at the end, you just see Jessica stand up from underneath the piano. Oh. That's kind of sad, isn't it? It really is sad. Yeah. 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. That's 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. I want to tell you the truth, though. you got to admire how much this guy got out of his two kids. Oh, yeah. He took them both to number one. He's got them both uh, on Saturday Night Live, on all the uh, magazine covers, ABC specials. He got Jessica in, the, in a movie. And what has he ever asked for himself? 15% and a little piece of That's all he wanted for himself. It doesn't seem like a lot to ask. I don't think it is. Especially for Ashley. I don't think he manages her anymore. Really? I think they had some kind of a falling out. And uh, he's moved on away from Ashley. When uh, she wanted to be blonde again. I don't know what happened. I don't. If you ever watched her show, they used to battle back and forth. She wasn't as adoring. She's the rebel child, the rocker, Fez. Yeah, she's the one who's just in your face, and you're going to see, you know, she'll put on the leather and the boots and everything and just come after us. Yep, the uh, Simpsons. There they go. All right, what else is happening out there?